I'm Matt Sesney. The dark legacy of Jeffrey Epstein on Palm Beach making news again today with a multi-million dollar settlement from an international bank. You would think that 17 years after the guy was first arrested, almost four years after he killed himself, we would stop talking about this jerk. Tim Malloy, former newsman and co-author of the book Filthy Rich about Jeffrey Epstein, spoke with us on Palm Beach about the money now going to Epstein's accusers. The good part of this is it's reparations. Women are getting something that they have coming to it. It doesn't settle anything. Their lives are not that much better, but it's nice to see the money go their way. $75 million from Deutsche Bank, a settlement over allegations they knew all along of Epstein's sex trafficking. Countless women, underage at the time, and now adults, have turned to high-power attorneys like Spencer Coven in West Palm. The only thing that we can do now is somehow account by money justice and holding those people accountable financially for what they were involved in. Coven has represented as many as nine women in the Epstein saga, many who say they were abused in Epstein's Palm Beach home. Coven says the only option now is going after Epstein's enablers. I have always said that he would have never been able to molest these young girls without the banks and the money behind him. Spencer Coven says many of the women are now adults and focused on living their lives. And he says he still occasionally hears from new accusers stepping forward and suspects there are many, many more who may never come forward. In West Palm Beach, Matt Sesney, WPTV, News Channel 5.